Okay. Hello. Hello. Hang on. Hello there, YouTubers. Today we are going for the Linux Comeback Show, which is basically we're going to do a comparison between Linux and Windows. So, which is better, Linux or Windows? Well, it's a Linux show, so we're going to say Linux is better. Not because it's a Linux show, of course not. That's just be stupid. So we'll give you some good reasons why Linux is better over than Windows. And the most annoyingest things about Windows, Linux will not have. But the most annoying things you'll have in Linux, you will have in you won't have in Windows. Let me explain why. Linux is not Windows, and Windows is not Linux. So don't compare them as the same operating system. Never compare them as the same operating system. Expect different from Linux. Always expect different. Never expect the same. Always expect different. So my say okay. So First thing is to think. Oh, yeah. First thing, we're going to go for why Linux is better than, over than Windows. So first off, first off, security. Security in Linux is quite strong and well, ah, uh, email, but is well better. For main reasons is because Linux has that feature where it, it overheads than what other Linux distributions have or miss. So for instance, let me give you a good example. Windows, when you start a new account, you are an admin. You are an admin. You, you can't be a normal user, you're an admin. Straight away. Even if you change your name, you are an admin. What does that mean? Well, that means you have all the control over Windows. What you can install, what you can't install, blah, blah, blah. Yeah? So, in Linux, on the Linux side of the ring, you are the normal user. The average user, you can't install. Yeah, that's right, you are the average user. So that means that you could install basically nothing. But, but, the user is connected to a fake root, slash root. So that means that, well, that personally means that mainly that the Linux side of things, that it's more secure because you don't need to be a super user to install programs. You could you could just enter a password, be a super user for about five minutes, and then back to the u and plain user all the time. So you don't need to be a super user all the time to install an application. Am I right? In Windows, you do. Fortunately, administration means you can install applications, you can change the features in the operating system, you can do a lot more things in Windows when you're the admin. Um, you can change the preferences in Windows, maybe how you want it to run. Not too much though, because the contracts and the rules and regulations and their, you know, their license is diff is told you to not change anything by sides of what they say, what you agree to. Um, but in Linux, you can change even further if you access as a root or a root shell or a fake root, they people call it these days. Um, so yeah, that's the difference between um, Linux and Windows. The security is that the user is connected to the actual super user in Linux, while in Windows you're just a super user. And there's no time period, so every time you install a new application, you always have to allow something. Like click allow, click allow, click allow, click allow. There's no time period before you can click allow again. It's just you click allow, that's it. If you get another application installed, you click another allow. And the security features in Windows is very, very poor. Very poor. They could do it a lot better. But I don't think, I think Microsoft just gives up halfway through. Well, I'll give up. If they copied the Linux security preferences, they probably would have gone far. But, to be fair, security in Linux in Windows is pretty much weak. Very weak. And anyone can hack in it. I mean, anyone. Yeah. So, you know. Next thing. Hard hardware, um, basically hardware and uh, problems with, well not hardware, um, uh, file system. File system and organization in Linux. Linux has that organization file system. It's clean, it's cleansy, it's nice, it's sleek, it got everything in order. Everything's in order. I mean, everything's in order. I'll prove to you. I'll prove to you, yes. So, your first time we're thinking about going to Linux, you're thinking, hmm, what do you mean by organization? Well, in Windows, straight away, you click on a file. You go on a file to get to the application. Oh, come on, that's like 1955. 
let's go to the menu and actually go into categories so category this is the application like the category list you've got ALLs which is all the applications you've installed we give you a massive list you've got accessories which is all the accessories you need to run things in the application and so forth you got your graphics and so forth so it's organization defragmentation annoying thing in in, win, in windows isn't it ext ext2 ext3 and ext4 don't need them let's compare it between a man and a woman shall we so man man gets fire file rips part chucks it around hard drive yes woman comes and gets checkboard and check every application what's been installed and keeps it in order in so that's why you know. Um, so that's why uh, operators need to be defragged to keep the file system clean. Yeah, my bell went off because I was meant to be a five-minute video, but it seems to be a bit more than five minutes. So um, yeah, um, that's basically it. So you know, defragmentation, hard drive cleaning. I probably gave you about three. Um, ways of what, what's better than in Windows. Um, Linux, you can share the software, you can do whatever you want to do with Linux. Um, you've got what, you basically limited what you can and can't do in Windows. You're restricted, you're contracted to whatever. Windows, you can install uh, malicious software if you wanted to. Um, well, to be fair, you are installing malicious software in either whatever application it is. For you know, it's malicious. You don't know. Antivirus might not even detect it's malicious or not sometimes it does sometimes it is and sometimes people are just a bit concerned because it is actually malicious, malicious but uh, the antivirus says it's not and sometimes it say it is and you might think it's not but it is is so always listen to the antivirus and if the antivirus doesn't detect be concerned anyway with the application anyway because the antivirus might not even detect the application very well so you know just always keep a close eye on the applications if you find anything speed and slower and slow in time and you think it's getting slower every day when I'm not even not even when I'm not even touching any installing any applications it just get slower and slower every day then I would concern about the last application you just installed I get really concerned about that one so you know have a little concern about that one yeah. so yeah that's it for me. So if you have a good time, um, the cons about Linux, um, terminal command lines. Ugh. Um, thing is, in Linux, um, you have a lot of commands and so forth. Do a lot of commands, and people are just scared about that. Hardware comp compatibility. That's more of the manufacturer's fault over in Linux because if you think about it, if the manufacturer don't want to submit code, then it comes to be an issue with Linux. So you know. Um, People complain on YouTube, oh, my YouTube, my Ubuntu PC is not working. Well, I had enough because I'm sick and tired of it. That's why Linux sucks, blah, blah, blah. I said, well, because your manufacturer doesn't want to submit code to you. Bloody hardware if you lose to support your hardware. It's not Linux developer's fault for not supporting your computer, I guess. So don't get pissed off for Linux. Get pissed off for your hardware developers. Ring them up. Tell them they're fat bastards and stealing all our monies. So, yeah, that's what you should say to them. <laughs> um, so, yeah. That's uh, today's news. Um, yeah. If you're a bit more concerned, if it, I know it's a short video, but if you're concerned about Linux and you really want to know more information, please contact me and I'll ring you. Not really, I'll just give you an email or buzz me and I'll give you information. So thanks for your time and goodbye.